Ah. Uh, hi, I'm Jungi from South Korea. Ah, uh, when we are the director of this award, told me don't touch this mic, Jungi, but I'm almost touch. <laughs> wow. I think I think I need a glass of whiskey. <laughs> wow, I'm nervous. Ah. Uh, Okay, can you please clapping to me, please? Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Jungi. Uh, thank you. Especially since I'm here for a person who has a special place in my heart. Uh, I think I can say I'm one of the lucky actors who has grown thanks to the Korean industry, which has now gone global. Uh, but I want to be standing here today if it weren't for this unique and passionate soul, Mick Lee. <laughs> Mick Lee has been at the center of Korea's rise in the global entertainment scene from the very beginning. Uh, I cannot begin to explain the emotion I felt while I was in Colombia, Bogota, uh, for my filming. Uh, at the swimming pool, I was watching the Oscars and seeing Mick Lee give a speech for the first Korean movie to ever win. And then uh, Colombians and all foreigners there uh, started clip, clapping at me only because I'm Korean. <laughs> so. I just told to them, okay, you can, you can do it now. <laughs> I can't forget that lovely moment. Uh, I was so proud, and Mickey, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations again. Uh, Mickey Lee helped open Korea's first movie multiplex in 1998, allowing for local Korean content to grow together with Hollywood movies. She then paved the way for Korean TV series around the world. With her instinct for recognizing talent, she continues to support our artists and our industry. Acting as our ambassador, she not only focused on spreading the great Korean storytelling, but also our beloved culture. The Directorate Award honors individuals for their contribution to international television. I cannot think of anyone more deserving of such award than Mick Lee. Let's watch. The 2022 Directorate Award.
And so, it is my great honor to present the Directorate Award to this extraordinary human, Mick Lee. Mickey, come here. <laughs> amazing actor and a role model to so many aspiring actors globally. Once a business student at a top university in Korea, Junggi defied all expectations to follow his dreams. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to Jungi defied all expectations to follow his dreams. His courage and passion continue to inspire people, a lot of people today. Talent of his caliber is the reason Korean content like Vincenzo, Descendants of the Sun, and Space Sweeper have spread onto the international stage. Thank you, Jungi. <laughs> and I want to congratulate the International Emmy on its 50th anniversary. I'm truly honored to receive these awards tonight. Back in the 80s, I went to Harvard for my graduate studies and nobody knew anything about Korea and it seemed like no one was interested. I volunteered as a TA for the few Korean American students who wanted to learn about their culture. I started to discover my role as their cultural bridge, teaching them the language, the Korean language, and about food culture, pop culture, and lifestyle. In the 25 years since we started CJ Entertainment Business, I am grateful to have been the bridge between many talented people and their dreams. In the late 90s, we started supporting young filmmakers like Park Chan-wook, Bong Joon-ho, and Kim Ji-un, who were hungry for a chance to make films. I'm so proud to continue working with them to produce films like Parasite and Decision to Leave. In the 2000s, we really pushed for a higher quality of television content from music to TV dramas on our channels. From Rain, who has been the king of K-pop, to now, to now BTS. We, we have been supporting K-pop going global. For television dramas, we created Studio Dragon in order to work with Korea's best writers, such as Park Ji-un, whose crash landing on you has found huge audience for us around the world. Now, there are amazing global television shows in the works from our formerly young filmmakers. Symp Sympathizer by Park chan Dr. Brain by Kim Ji-un, and Parasite being made into a TV show by Adam McKay and Bong Juno on HBO. Tonight, I'm so excited to celebrate the even larger global reach the Korean television shows have achieved. 
I'm delighted and proud as a Korean that our content is being recognized, but I share this joy as part of the greater global community. I have heard from so many that the success of Korean content has given everyone hope that anyone can be part of global pop culture. I'd like to keep bridging the people of the world. Genuine stories have no barriers. When I'm watching German or Nordic TV shows, I forget that there are subtitles and that they are different cultures. Once we are bridged together, when it comes to genuine human interaction, language is not a real barrier anymore. I will continue on my journey of being the bridge. Let's march on together and connect more people day by day. This is why it's such an honor to receive this award tonight. Thank you. And now, to present non-English language U.S. primetime program, please welcome to the stage from Dopesick, Will Chase.